In this video, we're going to find the following limit. But first, our function is the square root of x plus 1 over x minus 1. And the limit is at infinity. Okay? So the, the, the starting point here is that we can find the domain for this uh, function. Okay? Uh, the key is that we need to have x plus 1 over x minus 1 greater or equal than 0 with x is different from 1 because 1 would make this one we we want we don't want to divide by 0 okay so if you work this one here okay and you solve you will see that we we have the domain for our function as minus infinity minus 1 okay union 1 plus infinity so this is the domain okay so this is where our function is defined okay now to find the limit at uh, minus infinity uh, we can notice that or we know that the square root is a continuous function and therefore we can enter the limit inside Okay, assuming that this limit in, uh, exists, okay, it does exist. Why? Because we can compute it, we can find it. Okay, here the limit of x plus 1 over x minus 1 as x goes to minus infinity, we can compute this one using uh, uh, L'Hopital's rule, okay, or using the ratio, okay. So we can write this one as the limit of 1 plus 1 over x over 1 minus 1 over x. And we know that these ones go 1 over x and minus 1 over x. They will go to 0. And therefore, we have 1 over 1, which is 1. Okay? Therefore, we have the square root of 1, which is 1. Okay? Uh, another key idea that we can use is that... Uh, uh, we can rewrite this one, okay? We can rewrite it as the limit of if we add and subtract 1. So we have minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1, and this will give us 1 minus 2 or plus 2 over x minus 1. Therefore, when we take the limit, okay? When we take the limit, I need space where I can write the limit. So the limit... 1 plus 2 over x minus 1. Here, this one will go to 0. And I'm left with 1 only. Okay? So this is another way. L'Hopital's rule, if you know the L'Hopital's rule. And uh, another key idea is that these two numbers are very close. Okay? So x plus 1 and x minus 1. They differ by 2 or minus 2, okay? And therefore, where we have this ratio for bigger numbers, the plus 1 or minus 1 won't affect this change. Therefore, we have almost identical numbers, and therefore, we have 1, okay? So this is another way of seeing the, the, the limit here, okay? And uh, you can bring it to 0 if you want by changing, but this is, I think this is enough. So using the fact that this limit is 1 and the square root is a continuous function, we can enter the limit inside and get the square root of 1, which is 1. And therefore, I can conclude that the limit as x goes to minus infinity of the square root of x plus 1 over x minus 1 is just 1. Okay? And I think that's it. If you see any errors or mistakes, please let me know. Thank you again.